It's really hot today. And uh, yesterday night I had a nice party in Guadalajara. Now I am in the nearby nearby village of Ajijic. It's nearby. Uh, it's by a lake, really beautiful lake, the Lake Chapala. If you come around, I highly recommend you visit this place. It's awesome. In this video, I want just to say a few words about the the new digital nomad visa in Europe. A few country launch um, uh, some new visa. You have. Uh, uh, new digital nomad visa in Spain, Portugal, Greece, and uh, perhaps some other country. Often people from outside the EU told me, oh, I wish I could travel around the EU. The EU. I wish I could be more there in the European Union. So now it's your chance to achieve this goal, to be based in one of those countries and then you have a Schengen uh, visa, uh, you have a EU residency, you can travel all around Europe and you can do, uh, uh, you can have a, a nice uh, digital nomad life, but you will need to make uh, um, a bit of money. For example, the Spain digital nomad visa ask you to have 26,000 euro on a bank account and you will need uh, you will have to ask a letter from your bank to say yeah proof of fund and uh, I have uh, I have that money then you will need to make uh, an insurance health insurance and uh, there is uh, some other requirement um, they are not too complicated to meet but the most important is that 26,000 uh, euro also you as a with this visa you can travel you can work in the country for six months in a row so what you can do you can work two months in spain then you go two months in france then you come back then also you will pay tax but instead of paying the, the normal spanish tax rate of 48 percent you will pay only 24 percent so it's interesting for the people who make uh, substantial money as a digital nomad people who are from outside the EU and they want to be there and to travel around and to have a base there in Europe it is could be an interesting I think it's an interesting visa if you have the money also this visa count as a it can be so it's a three year permit you have a one year version of that permit and you can extend to five years so it's really interesting and those five years count as your application if you later you want to apply for spanish nationality i think you need to be resident for like 10 or 12 years i don't remember exactly i think i see it as a good deal so some other country they have also a digital nomad visa you have a digital visa from portugal you have another one from Greece. So the, por the, the Portuguese digital nomad visa asks you to make 2,800 euro. That's one of the, that's the main requirement. I think the Greek visa is a little bit higher. If I remember well, it is in the 3,000. Don't quote me on this. I will try to find the, the correct number and I will print it on the screen. So if you are from outside the Europe, because many people from outside the EU told me, yeah, I want to be in Europe, I want to travel around Europe. So now it's your chance. This is your chance. And if you don't make that amount of money, like if you were, maybe you make 2000, then this is an opportunity to grow as a, an independent. It's a, like a challenge, see it as a challenge. Yeah, in three years, maybe you make 2000. So, all the EU, EU digital nomad visa are out of reach for you if you make only 2,000 euro, 2,000 dollars. That's not enough. So it's a challenge. See, it? yeah, in two, three years, I will make enough to live in Spain, Portugal, or, or Greece. That could be an interesting challenge, motivation.